Hello and welcome back. You probably remember these little uh, devices from a previous video that I did. It's the DigiSparks USB Audrino compatible module, which was about £2 eBay. I thought I'd put it to good use, or a use, shall I say. Uh, one thing that quite often used to wind me up, uh, quite often you'd be doing something and your screensaver would come on bugger what you're doing or or it'll go into power save mode while you're trying to convert a video or do something like that uh, well you know you'll turn around to talk to someone and the damn computer a timeout and you'll have to put your password back in and it, it was a bit of a pain so I thought right this is the ideal gadget because we can actually put the library in and emulate a keyboard with this and just Basically, while well, this is plugged into the USB port, we can keep the computer alive. So while we're compiling our video for many hours, the screensaver is not going to come on. We don't have to wiggle the mouse every 30 seconds to make sure it doesn't bugger up. And uh, the program is quite simple. And basically, I'm just going to not really show. I've got to print out the screen of the program. And I'll show you what I did. Right, the first line is basically the library. It's the uh, keyboard library. So basically, this device will then get detected just as a generic uh, HID keyboard. Uh, alas, in the library, there's not the uh, scroll lock key, which is the key we used. Uh, for the older PC members of amongst you, you probably remember the scroll lock. But if you look now, then they don't exist for a love nor money on the new keyboards it seems to be a key which has uh, died without us really realizing it so i thought if i just toggle the scroll lock key uh, it will keep the computer from going into screensaver mode and keep the uh, the processor active and out you know out of power saving mode uh, so whatever you're doing doesn't get interrupted right where was i uh, as I said, the scroll lock key is actually not in the library, but we can actually define it. Uh, it's got a value of 71. Uh, I did find a file on it, something like keyboard, HID. Uh, I'll have to look it up and find it, but there's a PDF on it, and it gives you values of all different keyboards, not just for the PC, for the uh, Macintosh and all that. But we wanted to use the scroll lock key, so we had to define our own key. Also, there's an onboard LED here, so what I've done is it's actually on pin 1, so I've called that an output because while this is plugged in, I just wanted to flash the LED just to show it was active. Alright, the first one just sends this this keyboard stroke, apparently just keeps it active or something. I don't know too much about that, but it's there. Alright, digital write 1 high, we turn on the LED. And then we ascend the keystroke scroll lock, which is basically the one we defined here. So basically it presses the scroll lock key. Uh, we use the digital keyboard delay, and that's actually better at keeping the keyboard alive than the standard Arduino delay. For five, And the delay is five seconds, so it basically does bugger all for five seconds. And after that, it takes output one which is our LED low so it turns the LED off and then it waits another five seconds and then it goes and does it again so every five seconds this LED will go on and then five seconds later it go off five seconds later it'll come on and every time it comes on it will also send the uh, it will toggle the scroll lock key so screen savers everything else disabled and I've tried this, I've had it working. Uh, I've set my screensaver to come in after two minutes. I've plugged, plugged this in, walked out the house and came back nine hours later. It's still there. No screensaver, nothing. So it worked a charm. <coughs> and seeing that most software don't use scroll lock because it's an obsolete key, uh, it shouldn't affect anything. Uh, I did notice in Excel you can actually see it at the bottom of the screen or if you open a, an Excel P 
page it, you can actually see it toggling which is quite good to see it working but hopefully you can see that it's just a very basic program blown into it and it's a useful gadget um, next time I want to actually do something to detect my presence so if I'm within the vicinity it will send the keyboard strokes but as soon as I walk away from the computer uh, it will go off and uh, go back into screensaver mode as normal I you know that would be a PIR maybe Bluetooth and uh, you know it'll tether to my phone so while I'm in range you know, my computer never logs out as soon as I walk out of Bluetooth range it then locks itself so I mean that's that, that's future uh, projects I think but at the moment that works a dream okay many thanks for watching I hope that was interesting if you've got any ideas for any other projects uh, doesn't have to be this type of Arduino it could be you know the, the bigger ones we do have those on site so if you have any ideas of any projects that you want to see then uh, uh, drop a message or make a comment many thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe.